Proverbs chapter 8. Does not wisdom cry? You ought to be listening. And understanding put forth her voice. Isaiah 58. She stands in the top of high places. Numbers 22.4. By the way in the places of the past. One chapter one verse twenty and twenty one. She cries at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the door. There's your street preacher. How dare you say that you know street preacher is not Bible? A man that preaches on the street in the city gates and all that, he is liking the wisdom. right there black and white chapter 8 verse uh, 3 you know, I'm amazed at how many pastors I have talked with and dealt with and you mentioned something in the Bible and they have no idea it amazes me unto you O men I call and my voice is in the sons of man it's us we carry the voice. John the Baptist was a voice. That's what we are. We're a voice. With the gospel. Oh, he's simple. You remember chapter 1. Understand wisdom. And ye fools, chapter 1, be ye of an understanding heart. There's no scorner. He's gone. He was in chapter 1, but he ain't here. From, the, from chapter 1 to chapter 8, you can deal with a simple. And he's not, there's a chance for him not to be damned. If he will adhere to God. You can deal with a fool. Listen, atheism is mostly, for most people, it's an excuse to get you on your way. So you can't take the first answer. And maybe when somebody, oh, I already got a track, maybe we should challenge them. Maybe we should lay out the sin of lying right then and there. Okay, okay you got, can I see which one you got? Here, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. I'm going to verse 7. For my mouth shall speak truth. It's got to be the King James Bible. Sanctify him through thy word. Thy word is true. And wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. This is wisdom. The street preacher. <clears throat> there is nothing forward or perverse in them. 1 Peter 1.22 and chapter 4 verse 11 of Proverbs. They are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that findeth knowledge. Chapter 14 verse 6, Matthew 7.3. Let me stop there for a minute. We're talking about a street preacher in wisdom and understanding. And we're talked about in verse 6, excellent things. And when you open your mouth, it be right things. You don't go on the street corner and preach mini skirts and cigarettes and booze. I have seen some of these people on my Facebook page come up and they, and they got the, 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 the signs and, and shirts, homos will burn in hell. Yeah? So will Baptist preachers.
So will Christians sit in a Baptist church. God never called you to go on the street and use foolishness. Wisdom would cry out in the street, simple, for the simpletons, that, hey, you are a sinner, yes. Sinners that reject Jesus Christ will go to hell. You don't go to hell because you're a homo. You go to hell because you have rejected Jesus Christ as your Savior. People who have been involved in sodomy, who have gotten right with God, who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, have left that. Have repented and turned. There are people who have turned from their alcohol. There are people who have destroyed the, the, the lives that they've lived and come to Christ for a new life. Excellent things is not preaching to the people of what you're doing wrong, but it's preaching Jesus Christ. Now, I will mention sins, yes. In general. But the fact is, I will, re I will tell those people on the street that it is because of your rejection of what Jesus Christ has done for you. That will put you in hell. I will make sure that I say that the only sin that puts a man in hell is his sin of rejecting what Jesus Christ has done for his, for his sins. Yes, a sinner goes to hell, but a sinner goes to hell because of what Christ has done for him, and he decides to do it his own way, outside of what Christ has done for him. Unto you, O men, I call. Isaiah 50, 58, 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trump, trumpet, showing my people their transgressions. What is the transgression today? Oh, you're a whore, you're wearing a bikini. No. The transgression today is Christ died for your sins and you have not believed on him. Christ is the only sinless one ever to be and you are not. Yes, you are a sinner. Yes, Someone will come up to me, oh, you know, I'm gay. Yes, yeah, so what? You ever lie? You ever steal? Let's, let's bring them down to everybody's level. Not everybody's gay. Not everybody's adulterous. Not everybody's into alcohol. Let's go to something that everybody has done. Have you ever told a lie? I call and my voice is to the sons of men. Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. What is wisdom? It's God. Understand God. That's what you're to tell them. You tell them about God. You're to tell them about Jesus, not sins. They already know about sins. They just don't know the relationship that God has to them. They've had some idiot in some pulpit or on a television or radio somewhere say, Oh, God hates the sin but loves the sinner. Tell them the truth. That's a lie. Because of your sins, yes, and because your rejection of Jesus Christ, God does not love you. Ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Come, know God. I'm an atheist. Do you know what you're saying? Oh, we worship Satan. Do you know he's a loser? There's a right, right way to preach and there's a wrong way to preach. And a lot of these people on Facebook, I see their videos on that, and you do it the wrong way. Christ is to be the center point, not sin. That they are committing right then and there. Christ died for the sinners. But when you go out there and just preach sin, 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 sin. And no cure, 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 cure. Imagine going to a doctor's office. And every time you go to a doctor, uh, you go in the first time. Uh, 
you, you got emphysema. Oh, oh, wow. You go for the next doc. Well, how, how am I doing, doc? You got arthritis. Mm. Go to the third visit. Doc, what do I, you got migraines. Oh, well, okay. The fourth visit. Uh, hi, doc. Uh, you got a pain. Next visit. You got ulcers. Next. Well, doc, where is the cure? Where is the prescription? Where is the help? Where is the doctor sitting down with you saying, son, you've got a condition, and this is the condition, and here's the cure. I never had a doctor scream at me or had anybody I, I been with the, to a doctor to scream at you. When you're dealing with people on the streets, you're, you're preaching, you're handing out gospel tracts, you're knocking on the door. Okay, yes, you're a sinner. But don't scream at them. Show them who they are and then show them the cure. We only raise our voice on the streets because so people can hear us. If I take somebody off the side and go sit on the bench, you pretty much can't hear what I'm saying to that guy. Because it's not for all the world. And when I'm dealing with somebody, I will get them down to the common ground with it. Everybody has either lied or stealed in their life. Here, talking to the people, for I will speak of excellent things. Excellent things is Jesus Christ. Excellent things is heaven. I compare heaven and hell. I preach hell, but I will show you what's in glory. I will show you that in hell you will burn for eternity. I will show you in heaven there will be no pain, no suffering. You get a new body. That's what's right. They got to know what they're being saved from. Hell. You got to preach hell. Well, how do I get to hell? Because I'm wearing a mini skirt? No, because you are a sinner. For all have sinned, come to show the glory of God. You wicked, mean, nasty person. Jesus saves. They're not going to hear the Jesus saying you turned them off. You mean, nasty, wicked sinner. You turned them off. You know, it, it's like a guy watching TV. He's got the remote control. When you, you mean, nasty, you're a commercial. He flips the button and goes find another program. We use our elevated voice on the street so people can hear us. Here, for I will speak excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Yes, proclaim sin. Proclaim that is the disease of mankind. Also, the right things that God died for you. God has given you the opportunity for eternal life. Well, if you choose to reject it, you will be in hell. You will burn in hell. You'll have no relief in hell. That's the truth. Don't go to a particular event with a chip on your shoulder. Now, Bikers Week is coming up. I ain't going to go down there and you know, the mean, nasty, disgusting, filthy pigs on bikes. Well, you know what? I don't know. We've been down here. I don't know how many years. You know what I find a lot of those bikers? They're respectable. There's a few bad apples, but there are more bushels of apples that are good and respected. And if you treat them right, they will take a gospel track. They will hear you out. They'll come up and slap you on the back and say, hey, buddy, I like that. But you go in there, oh, you turn them off. You're not going to get anywhere. And I'm, I'm, when I start seeing that on Facebook, I'm going to start getting rid of that. Because this is a turn off. Now, people will proclaim, you know, you're speaking mean or not. I'm not. A lot of times when we're down at the, the food plate, I mean, the, the, the fruit and vegetable plate, they'll be, oh, why are you preaching so loud? I'm preaching because I'm not angry. I'm trying to get my voice out. That's why I use an amplifier. 
so you can hear me. And we have been heard by people who tell us they can hear us all the way over to the back field. That's what I want. I want all to hear me. Benjamin Franklin quoted, I don't know, I, I got to find this out and put it in my notes. You know, instead of saying Benjamin Franklin's name, not the Christian name, I should, should look that up. Has quoted to hear one of the street preachers blocks and blocks away. Well, you know, use an amplifying device. But when that was done, there was no automobile. There was no airplane. There was no air conditioners. There was no electrical fields and telephones and everything you have to deal with. I've got to raise my voice over your cell phone. I've got to raise my voice over that guy who's got his radio too loud in the car. I've got to raise my voice over the band that's playing and across the street. I've got to raise my voice over the, the drive through of the fast food restaurant. I've got to raise my voice and use that bridge that is there for people to hear me. And when I'm when I'm at the farmers market, I notice when when the cars are passing me, if I stand a certain way, my voice is elevated even more, and I'll try to use it not to be in their face, but they, they can hear what the word is being said. For my mouth shall speak truth. Jesus Christ is true. The word of God is true. So you've got to have the right Bible. There are some things that there are not the truth and not to be said. You can't go to someone's door, knock on their door, and say, How are you doing? Yeah, we're from such and such church, and are you a sinner? You're a sinner? Yeah, you are. You've done something wrong. Oh, that's a that's great because I'm glad to meet you, Mr. Sinner. And I tell you, you want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven? Really? Oh, that's great. You're a sinner. You want to go to heaven? Just say this prayer. And that's not the truth. I deal with somebody one time. Oh, this how to say this prayer. That's not the truth. Well, you don't get notches on your belt like that. No, let God have to increase. I'll just plant or water. You know, when you plant and water, even that, the fruit. I mean, you go out there, okay, there's the tomato plant. You go out there and water it. You're not going to come back an hour later and find a, find a red tomato. That don't happen. Let's do a little more time. Let God be the little more time. I'm just doing what God's telling me to do. God will do the results. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Now, when you're in righteousness, you're not in the flesh. You are in the fruits of the Spirit. When you see a mother drag their kid away from a gospel drag and it hurts you because that child may not ever hear again. When you see someone take a gospel drag and just throw it on the ground and realize they're throwing away the words of life. There's nothing forward. Again, that's a wicked, unyielding rebellion. And if you go down there and just slam these people and slam them, that's forward. Or perverse in them. I haven't seen any messages where, you know, the, there's any messages cussing or anything like that, but I, I wonder. Starting a fight with a policeman or stuff like that. I wonder sometimes. They are all plain to him that understand it. When you when you get the gospel out there, whether you pass out tracks or you you, you knock it on the door, whatever the, the Lord has given you, it will be plain to you. You can't preach Christ's salvation if you're not saved yourself. You you don't know. Receive my instruction. 
That'd be First Thessalonians two thirteen. That's wisdom speaking out to you. Hear me. Listen to me. Learn. And not silver. Don't accept money. No, we're, we're, we're out here. We're, we're not doing it for money. We're just doing it. The Bible says, go you know the world and preach the gospel. And knowledge rather than choice gold. Wisdom will get you money. Wisdom will get you. Don't use wisdom to be paid. Let wisdom pay you, not you be paid for wisdom. Don't preach the gospel and put a hat down there for donation. You have received your reward. For wisdom is better than rubies. And when we get to chapter 31, it says that the virtuous woman, her price is far above rubies. So a virtuous woman is likened to wisdom. While he's out there preaching the gospel, she's at home taking care of the things at home. The husband getting the word out and the wife taking care of the home are two things that God says they're better than rubies. And we are told in the scriptures that if the wife has to remain home for whatever reason, she's still accounted to what the work of her husband. And more a blessing when you can turn around whatever ministry you got. And there is your wife right there with you. Even more of a greater blessing that your children are there too. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Cars, fame, money. Nothing could compare to the wisdom that you have the knowledge of the holy. You have the very words of life. You know how to get somebody into heaven. I think we're going to close right there. We'll pick up verse 12. It's... Whole another wisdom, but still about wisdom.